Oh. All of a sudden she goes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's another bear, there's another bear coming. I glance over and without a doubt, it is the boss. He comes marching across the road and as soon as he sees Split Lip, he just bolts right at him like a freight train. And they are the two heavyweights right now. The boss and Split Lip have both been around in Banff National Park now for at least 15 years. And they're both in the five to 600 pound range, depending on the time of year. So they're both big, big grizzly bears, dominant male grizzly bears. They've really become the two most iconic, most famous bears around. Split Lip in part because he has, uh, as recently as this year, killed uh, cubs of 142. He actually killed one of the cubs of 142 right on the Bow Valley Parkway. And then the boss has been the boss. He's been the most dominant bear really for about uh, almost a decade now. These two definitely have a big overlapping territory and, and grizzly bears are very, very territorial, uh, particularly the males. It ran right at us initially um, to, to get out of the way of this freight train barreling down on him. And the boss just missed him with a big swipe. And then they went racing through this little meadow, spinning around and spiraling through it and onto the Bow Valley Parkway with the boss right on Split Lip's heels. Get out to the Bow Valley Parkway in time to see the boss chasing Split Lip for three kilometers down the middle of the Bow Valley Parkway, <laughs> in and out of the ditch and weaving back and forth on the road. And you know, these two big fat butts just roaring down the road. It was and really quite a sight to see. The boss is definitely still the boss.